Welcome to this week's Black Oak Casino Resort Alumni Spotlight. And today I'm joined with another 49er legend. He is the 49ers fourth round pick in 1986 out of the University of Miami, defensive end Kevin Fagan. What's up, Kevin Fagan, man? It's been so long. How are you doing, my man? I'm doing great, Dennis. Great to see you, man. Miss the good old days. It, 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 it's been so long, Kevin, man, and uh, I am so glad you agreed to do this. Our honorary captain for the week. You've been doing this since the COVID has been kind of going on. Um, just kind of reaching back out to some guys, and, and it's been so much fun. We had Bill Romanowski on last week. Uh, you know how how Romo is. He got real intense on us. Uh, and then it was it was great to see your name your name come up. So Kevin, tell us during this time right now, this COVID time, what have you been up to? Well, I'm, I'm still uh, our our college here. You know, I'm a, I coach fast pitch softball at the college level, and our college has it shut down. Um, oh. Yeah, we're uh, we're full swing. Kids are in class. We're practicing softball every day. Uh, so, you know, here it's kind of been business as usual, which is pleasant. Um, you know, I know most of the country is still uh, in some form of shutdown. So um, it's nice to get a bit of work every day and, and, you know, do what I do. Yeah. And so now what part of the country are you in, Faye? I'm in, I'm in uh, North Georgia. North, North Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, a little tiny town called Franklin Springs, Emmanuel College. We're a, a Division II Christian college, North North Georgia. That is awesome. And and, and, and I know your, your daughter was a big-time softball player, right? I, I had uh, my three oldest daughters played in the SEC. All of them played shortstop, Auburn, Missouri, and Arkansas. And then I have a younger daughter now that's actually at a Virginia Tech playing shortstop at Virginia Tech. Wow. They're there. <laughs> So it, all, all coached by you. Yes, all coached by me. Whoa, whoa. Well, for, for the 49er fans, I, I guess I got to give you some history. When I first came into the San Francisco 49ers, this man here, Kevin Fagan, was probably, technique-wise, probably the best run stopper I had ever seen in, in the National Football League, college football, anything, high school, Pop Warner, anything. And your technique was so intense and you and you practice that every day in practice and th that's something i kind of wanted to be i want to be great against the run uh let, talk, talk about 1990 here i come as a rookie some of the guys in the room you you were there pierce holt was there uh uh um uh, uh larry roberts was there uh michael carter was there so, so just talk about how, you know, during that time uh, and the Super Bowls, and, and you've got two Super Bowl rings, right? Right. All yeah. right. Talk talk about those times, you know, in that room, how important it was to play efficient and strong defense. Well, I, I think overall, Dennis, as a unit, um, and you remember, we, we took a lot of pride in how we played, uh, did a lot of film study on our own, uh, looking for run reads, uh, you know, little uh, pre-stance reads. Um, we took a lot of pride as a unit in, uh, you know, keeping the linebackers clean, defending the run the right way, not running around blocks, you know, just a really disciplined unit, played hard. Um, I, I remember uh, uh, Gary Zimmerman, you know, one of the great offensive tackles that, that I had to play against a lot. He told me after a game one time, he was like, Kevin, I would rather play against Reggie White and Clyde Simmons in that group than you guys any day. He yeah. goes, you never shut down. And, yeah. and you know, we didn't. I mean, we were hustlers. We were grinders. Just kind of a blue-collar front that worked hard and took pride in what we did. And and, and that's what and that's what I got out that unit was it was, you know, we used to always say, bring your lunch bell every single day. And that was the attitude of that defensive line, at least for me during the 1990, 1992 season was it was a lunch pail. It was like, you went to work, you did what you did. You guys taught me how to read film, how to watch film, how to work on my technique and practice and prepare for football games. I remember what a great honor it was to, to be playing with, with you in that front line and just watching you guys work was, was incredible. So I, I thank you for being here with us today. It's an honor. 
Uh, I know your time is important and precious. I'm gonna let you get out of here. Any last words for the fans? Uh, no, just uh, Dennis, you were always a class act, man. I appreciated you when you came in. You were a humble, a great player, but a humble, you know, just kind of person that, uh, you know, you fit in well and I, I enjoyed playing with you and, and all those guys, you know, yeah. all those guys were a great group and it's such good memories. Yeah, awesome memories and, and, and I, I I would love to see you come back to the Bay Area for an alumni weekend after we passed all this COVID stuff and spend some time and, and talk about some of these uh, some of these great memories. Before we go, the best offensive lineman you played against in the National Football League? Oh, the best. Uh, that's tough because Anthony Munoz was great, of course. Uh, Zimmerman and McDaniel were a nightmare at, yeah. uh, you know, at, at Minnesota every year. Irv Panky, I mean, we, we got in fist fights every game. The Rams yeah. tackle. Um, I mean, Paul Gruber at Tampa Bay. I mean, there were so many great left tackles at the time. But all in all, I would say Gary Zimmerman was a guy that we were going to fight tooth and nail every single down. And it was, yeah. you know, it was tough. I, I remember some of those battles. It was some great battles. So, hey, thanks a lot, Kevin Fink, for joining us on the Black Oak Casino Resort Alumni Spotlight. And thank you so much for being our honorary captain for tonight's game.